you know that when you see one of these brown cases, there's something wonderful inside, right? This is a 2015 Murphy Aged 1957 reissue gold top Les Paul. Get some detail on the um, the checking that was done here, and if you don't have, if you come across one of these that doesn't have documentation that it is Murphy aged, and somebody says it's Murphy aged, you can look for the signature right there. You see the little the two arches. That's the M, and then to the left of it is a single arch with a line and going up. Um, vertically, which represents the T for T for Tom, and then the M for Murphy, and so you, you can find that. If you find this on a guitar, I guess you have to search around for it on there. It's kind of like a finding um, finding Waldo, but for for uh, custom shop guitars. I mean, you can see the the aging on the. On the hardware, it's really pretty. One thing I really like about these things is you look at the how authentic the. Hopefully, my camera's picking this. Up. There, that's a good. Idea. One thing I really like about these is how the inlay looks like it's from you know old, old inlays, old guitars. You see this still on some of the um, you know the depth of the inlay um, is different it's more, there's there's a lot more depth on these older guitars you'll see on the 50s and 60s up through um, like even some of the early 70s but I wish they would do it on all of them but you know then they can't charge more for these <laughs> you know um, so you can even see how cool it is on the headstock. The depth. Eh, maybe maybe you don't see the depth as well as there. But it, you know the checking is is very well defined on the headstock. I like how the back of this one isn't all beat to crap, you know. I mean you can see the buckle rash, you can see some checking, you see some dings and marks and things like that, but it's not bad. Um little surprised to see that the neck wasn't worn down but it still feels great it weighs just a little bit over eight pounds this particular one was originally owned by Vic Pra. he's a famous author and historian on um, on the burst and uh, Gibson Les Pauls anyway this was owned by him and I have this cool signature on the guitar. This is not my guitar. This is a borrowed um, from a good friend. And this is really, he was generous enough to let me um, have this, do some videos. You'll see me do some, some of the reels, uh, like Give Me Three Steps and several others with this guitar. It's going back to him pretty soon. And I will be sad. Anyway, thought I would share this with you all.